Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with the Income Journey. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about over the past nine months or so, I've been able to build an asset that today I could sell for $36,000. And this is pretty much something that anyone can do, no matter your level of experience with online marketing. I started this completely from scratch without using any money, really. I did spend a little bit, but it's very, very cheap. So we'll talk about that. And I didn't use any of my existing like presence on social media or anything like that to push this business. It's completely from scratch. Anyone can do it starting from zero. Now, it's a long term business. As I said, it's took me eight months to get it to the point it is. But today, if I wanted to, I could sell it for $36,000. And that for a lot of people, especially here in the UK, that's like an average salary for someone working full time. So you could do this on the side and make double your income this year by utilizing a business like this. Now, again, it's going to take time, work. You may not see results very quickly. I'm gonna show you my growth trajectory to get to this point because it was very, very slow at the start, making pretty much zero money. But now it's crossed over $1,000 a month in revenue. I'm gonna show you how we could sell it for $36,000 and my plans to take this to a business that I sell for six figures. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. If you do enjoy it, please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Hit subscribe if you are new here. And let's go ahead and take a look. So first thing I wanna show you just is the revenue and show you that we have crossed the $1,000 mark. And we're actually a little bit over that because this is not all the revenue from this website but you can see here latest overview from the last 30 days on this website we've just crossed it today was the first day one thousand and sixteen dollars zero eight in earnings and we've had fifty three thousand website visits so you're probably asking yourself well what is this business well essentially this business is just blogging and creating content online in the written form now you probably heard about blogging i think everyone has and you probably think if you're anything like me that blogging is dated it's old it's something that people used to do to make money online but in fact it's a completely booming business there's people making millions of dollars a month doing this there's big media corporations doing this exact same strategy to pull in millions of dollars in ad revenue a month so we're just going ahead and building smaller sites around that so if we actually take a look i'm not going to show you my site today because it's still very new a lot of people could come in and try and compete with me and i don't really want that so let me show you some sites that are currently available for sale over here and also show you the multiples. So as I said at the start, this site is worth about $36,000 and that's because at $1,000 per month, you can sell your site for a roughly 36x multiple. So that means we could sell ours for 36,000. Now there's definitely sites that go for slightly less than that, but I really don't see many sites selling under a 30x multiple right now. And also over here, on motioninvest.com, this is a great place if you're beginning and you actually want to buy a site. Motion Invest has a lot of sites over here that are currently for sale for way higher multiples. You can see here exactnetworth.com. It's currently selling for $278,000. The multiple is 45 times and they're currently making $6,000 per month. Now, that is a lot of money. Let's show you this site so you can see exactly what it is. And then we'll go through the listing as well. But you can see here exactnetworth.com. Let's go over to that website and see exactly what they are doing. So right here, you can see it's a fairly simple website. We build these websites on WordPress and produce the content. If you guys do want a full tutorial on it, I'll link to a video up here that I've done in the past teaching people how to create a website from scratch where you can just start pumping out content. Now, the most important thing in this business is content and putting out as much of it as you possibly can. So right here, you can see this is a niche site. And basically what they do is, you know, go ahead and estimate people's net worths. And lots of people come ahead and check these out. So they're pretty much doing it for different celebrities, businessmen, athletes, entrepreneurs, all of that stuff. And if we click into one of these articles, it's probably very, very templated. They've made it very easy for themselves to create lots and lots of content. So if we take a look right here, uh, Carmen Lozanza was an 82 year old Mexican actress. So they give a little bit of bio, how maybe they got started, how they got started making money. And then they give a little blurb down here about their net worth. And it looks like these are actually very short articles. If we take a look here at the word count, 507 words that's not a lot at all so this site probably has a lot of articles and they publish these we can take a look on similar web at their traffic 
they're getting about 500,000 visitors per month. So as we've seen, they're making $6,000 per month writing articles on estimating people's net worth. So really not that hard at all. Now, there is a lot more that goes into this. I actually took a course to learn how to do this from Morton. It's actually why I'm making this video because I posted in Morton's group this morning, just going through kind of tips and tricks and you know hitting that thousand dollar mark and what I had done, hopefully to help a few people out in there. So if you wanna check out the course that I took, you can check it out down below uh, in the link in the description. But as we said, $6,000 a month. And if we scroll down, I think it's actually doing more you can see right here how much traffic the site's doing this is all of the information that a buyer would want to see here on motion invest i'll actually zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better but we can see right here that in total over the past i believe year the site has done 3.8 million page views it looks like one of these DJ citizen oh steve will do it's in there as well you can see they have pulled in a hundred thousand page views a piece which is pretty damn crazy over here it's pulling in all its traffic from organic search so essentially the business model is this we write content that ranks in google people click from google to our website we provide them with good content they get it they get the information that they need and on that page we show adverts so let me show you right here exactly how that works i'm gonna have to pop open a, a private browser because i have an ad blocker installed so if i open this up in a private browser you'll see that we have to accept cookies so that they can show ads so if we scroll down now you'll see there's an advertisement here which hasn't loaded in yet there's an advertisement along the bottom and you can see throughout the article there's a couple of advertisements and we've also an advertisement on the side this site's actually not that aggressive on ads. So if I was a buyer of this site, I'd probably get more aggressive putting ads in here. I definitely have an ad above this image because that's a high RPM place to place ads. So that's exactly how you make money. That's pretty much the, all there is to the business model. It's very, very simple. You publish content, rank it in Google and make money from ads. Now there is other ways that you can also make money. Another way that I make money on my site is through Amazon affiliate commissions. So the net worth site isn't a good example for affiliate stuff because they're not pushing any affiliate stuff at all. But if we look at something like thermogears.com here and we open this up, we're going to see affiliate links in their content. So you can see here, they pretty much go ahead and write reviews only. Now, Google has been penalizing affiliate content a little bit more than info content right now. So it's also much harder to rank for something, you know, a review of a product because there's more competition there. Because if you do well with affiliate content, you can really make a lot of money. So if we take a look at one of these thermal cameras, this one's actually, you know, a more kind of broad article, how do they work? But I guarantee you, in here, we're gonna see some affiliate links. So you can see every kind of red bit here is uh, a link. So if we click on one of these links, we can scroll down, what is night vision? Uh, you can actually get it for your car, which is pretty cool. Uh, night vision rifle scopes. These are internal links linking to other articles in the site. They want people to click around as much as possible. You're making more money then the more they click around because they're seeing more ads. But here we can see they've linked out to best night vision scope for the money. So you can click through here and you can see they've got this table. Uh, they've also got like a kind of pop-up deal right here, but they've got a table of different sites that you can buy, different night vision sites. I click on one of these. I probably go to Amazon. Yes, I go to Amazon. Obviously, I'm in the UK, probably not buying night vision scopes over here, but that would send me to an Amazon US link if I lived in the US, make a little bit of a commission when they purchase. So that's essentially the business model. Now, let me show you kind of the upfront investment and kind of the R's that I put in to a site like this, because I wanted to kind of start this as a little bit of an experiment. I wanted something that I was passionate about. So I started in a niche that I enjoy, I do as a hobby. So I went ahead and just started writing about that. And then I now I've started to hire a team. It's really trying to get it to the point right now where I don't even have to write articles. I can just manage it from a bird's eye view. And we go ahead, hire that team, get them producing content every month and just keep scaling that income. And the beauty is it's very, very passive. You know, if you stop posting, nothing really happens. It's not like e-commerce where if you're making sales, you have to be shipping stuff out. You have to have you know, your logistics team pushing that stuff. You have to have orders fulfilled. Whereas with this, you can just kind of leave it, let the content roam. There's no fulfillment. It's just if someone looks at the article, you make money from an ad, which is really, really nice. So let's take a look at my nice site monthly spreadsheet. If you guys watch my income report, you've maybe seen this. Uh, so you can see right here, site number two. This is the site that we're taking a look at. So you can see that there was never a month where I went any more than $107 negative. And if you wanna start a business, 
you probably have $107. And I didn't even have to do that. That was only because I hired content. Uh, you can see here in this one where I went ne negative 76, I also bought content. You don't have to buy any content at all to do a business like this. You can start completely from scratch, doing everything yourself, writing the articles. So if I hadn't spent money on content and did this all myself, I wouldn't have had any negative months at all, which means you can start this business. Well, if you said negative four is negative, it is negative, right? But it's $4. You can come up with $4. If you can watch this video, you've got internet, you can come up with $4 to start your business. So you can start this completely from scratch. And you can see at this point, like I haven't made any real money. I'm not living off this. I'm not buying Lambos off this website right now, but it's starting to grow. The snowball is starting. And I knew when I was starting this, it was a year long journey before I could make any significant money at all. And by significant money, I mean like four figures, a thousand dollars, still not really much. Probably most people can't live on that, but we're going ahead. We're now producing 866 in October. We've crossed a thousand on the 30 day mark. Uh, and profit from that is about $299. Now, I don't care about profit at all, probably for the next six to seven, maybe even another year, because I'm just trying to grow this. I'm just pushing money into this site. I don't need the money. So I can go ahead, I can drive as much money as possible into this to grow it. And now I've seen, I was kind of skeptical. I was a little bit concerned up until the point where I really started to see some significant growth. Now I trusted the process and I kept producing articles. You can see here how many articles I've posted on my site. If we highlight all of these, you can see I've posted 268 articles. Again, I'll just zoom in a little bit here. 268 articles on the site. I could have posted a lot more if I was willing to invest in content. Now that's what I'm doing now over the next couple of months and it'll definitely at the start of the new year, I'm gonna be investing about $5,000 a month in content and just pushing as much content to the site as possible to drive up that monthly revenue, especially trying to focus on evergreen content that's gonna rank for a long time. And then I can make money from ads passively and have my writers do most of the work. It's a fairly easy business where if you do want to outsource it, it's not that complex. You have a team of writers, then you have an editor, and then you've probably someone doing keyword research. That should probably be yourself for a long time because it's hard to find someone to really do that. And it's probably one of the most important parts of the business. For any of you guys just getting started in this business, you definitely want to go ahead and focus on producing content that has low competition. And sometimes that even means no competition at all. I go after, if you look in keyword tools and stuff like that, I go after keywords with zero search volume at all. And that's the easiest way at the start. If you've no authority, you're not gonna have any domain authority, no one's pointing to your website, you can go ahead and rank for them because you're the only option Google has. If no one else has answered that question on Google, Google just pretty much has to show you and you will get some traffic. You're probably not gonna get these massive, massive keywords with tons of search volume because competitors are going after them. But if you can start small and just build that up chunk by chunk, article after article, you're gonna hit some that get big. Like I have some that do 3,000, 4,000 page views a month for free from Google and they're pulling some really nice money. So just before I finish up this video, I wanna let you guys know that I can do a video on like my top five tips, my six tips for building a website like this. If you do wanna know, let me do it, know down below. But I wanted to show you kind of how the monetization works and how driving more traffic equals more money. So you can see right here, the last couple of days have been fairly nice on the website. We've done like 52, we had our biggest day ever here. We did $64. Also making like, I think this, in this period here, probably made about another $100 or so from Amazon commission. So about 1,100. But what I'm gonna do is jump into my analytics right here. And we're gonna take a look at how much we make per thousand visitors on the site or per thousand page views on the site. So you can see here, there's this number and this number is called EPMV. And essentially what that means is how much you make per thousand page views. Mine is about $20. This varies drastically depending on the niche you're in. And even if you're in the same niche as me, you might get a completely different EPMV. There's lots of reasons for it. The amount of ads that you show on the page, the length of your content, you know, the, your demographic that are coming to the site. There's all these different things. Time of year, obviously we're coming into Q4. Advertisers are spending more money we can then make more money off ads. So right here, we're making $20 per 1000 visitors. So how I try and calculate and think about my website is if I pay $20 to have an article written for me, how many views does that have to pull in to make me enough money? And the way I think about it is on that final sale value. So for every $1 per month that I can make, that means that I get 
$36 back. So if I can get an article, I pay $20 for it, and it earns $1 a month, I get $36 back because of that 36 times multiple on the sale of the website. Now, that's obviously unrealized gains, and just like an investment in Tesla, if you haven't sold it, you've made no gains because it could collapse at any time. And it's very similar in something like this because Google can change their algorithm. You know, your traffic might drop off. Things can change in your website. An affiliate program changes something. You can, you know, things can decrease. But at the moment, if I sold, it's roughly what we would get. So if I can produce content, pay $20 for it, it makes a dollar a month, I'm winning. Now, if we dive deeper into my articles, I'm gonna have to hide the articles so you guys don't see the links. But if we take a look at specific articles on my site, I'll show you like how kind of diverse mine is. If we take a look here, this is over the past seven days. I have one single article on the site over here in this right hand side, you can see that made $67. Now, that's kind of skewed because that kind of peaked this week, that article peaked because of a trend that was happening. So it made a lot more compared to everything else. I really don't like seeing one article pull in in 20% of revenue because that's just you know skewed way too high. But normally if we like scope out here to the last, let's say three months or so, it's gonna look a little bit different. It's gonna be much more kind of, you know, evenly spread. So let me just load this in. You can see right here. So the top article pulled in only 10% of revenue, 7%, uh, 4%. It really starts to get diverse as we go down here. So if we look at it on a monthly basis again right here, this is over the last 28 days. So we can say that whatever these articles made times it by 36. So you can see here our top 10 articles, you know, in terms of revenue, let's you know, filter a little bit. These ones are pulling in $24. If we go to page two, pulling in $13 at the bottom, page three, $8. And if we just keep going in, let's go pretty deep. A lot of articles make over that $1 mark. If we go, we're probably looking at like page eight, nine, 10, right? So we're at that $1 mark here. So the 100 out of the 260 articles I have published are making over that dollar mark. And it takes roughly about eight months for an article to actually rank on Google. Over the past three months, I've created about 120 posts. So there's a lot of content on my site that just hasn't had time to rank it. So they're not even appearing in these numbers. So all of these ones over a dollar, that was profitable for me because I, you know, I wrote it myself. So it's just instant profit. But if you're paying someone $20, it's making a dollar a month, you're profitable. And obviously, you're gonna have some articles that don't rank at all, don't bring any traffic and don't make any money. But you're gonna also have some that make $100 a month. So they're worth $3,600. And you paid someone $20, $30, $40 to write that article. So you can really see how it starts to snowball. If we compare this to investing, you know, my total investment in this over the first, let's just say, uh, like right to the point where it's it's been profitable the last three months, but until it wasn't profitable, my total investment was $114. And I turned $114 into 36,000 through, yes, I was writing a lot of the articles, so there was man hours involved, but you don't have to. You can outsource this, but you're gonna see more of a negative dip. It's gonna go down and then up into profitability. So that's kind of it. I know I just kind of rambled and rather there at the end, but hopefully you guys kind of get the gist. If you do want to learn more about these websites, I really like this business model. I know you know there's a lot of print on demand here, uh, a bit of e-commerce, but I really like this business model a lot more. It's a lot more kind of hands off. There's not you know as much moving parts. It's very simple. It's just you know one revenue source, two rev, a couple you know obviously get a couple of affiliate programs going, but it's one bulk revenue source which it's kind of, you know, a, it's a negative and a positive. It's just nice though to not have to deal with hundreds and hundreds of customers, customer service, finding products, doing designs, all of that stuff. This is much, much simpler. It's just get up, write content. That's it. That's all you have to do every single day. It's slow, it's steady, but it does work over time. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Hit the like button if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you're new here and check out these other videos. I'm gonna put up the playlist to you know the income journey. I've done income reports on this whole thing. You can see it all here, but I've done income reports since I started doing this. So check them out. And I've also got a video where I show you how to start one of these websites, like create the website, and then you can start pushing out content on it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.